Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. My name is Rosa and I'm here to bring you a general monthly love read. We're going to dive in and take a look and see, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. We're going to take a look and see uh, what's coming through for you in the month of March when it comes to love. Um, this is a six card spread, guys, just take what you need, leave the rest and feel free to leave behind a like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this reading and or if you feel that part of these messages really resonate for you here today. Now, uh, what I'll do as well is I will place in the show more section below a link of the 2021 yearly tarot overview where you can expect to find um, the yearly love overview as well. So if that's something that you're interested in, you will find that link in the show more section below. And as I said that, Aries, one of my candles just stopped. <laughs> so um, anyway, I had to point that out. Um, also, guys, if you want to work with me, uh, feel free to. All the details will be in the show more section. Um, so let's take a look at the energies of the person that you may be dealing with in love in the month of in the month of March, shall we? Let's do that. Let's begin there. I am using the Animal Spirit deck from the Wild Unknown, and then we'll dive into what these uh, tarot cards have to say. So just waiting for a card to roll out for our Aries. No. Okay, here we go. Beautiful. So you've got the hawk coming through. The upward pointing triangle with the line through is representing air. Uh, so it could be a strong air sign coming in, um, or it could be an air sign that you're dealing with. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And the hawk is a predator. So this is someone seeking you out. This may be someone hovering around. Um... I also feel like, you know, air governs mental energy. So this is someone who is very logical. This is someone who thinks highly of you as well. Or perhaps you think highly of this person. I do feel that the person that you're dealing with, um, this is someone who goes after what they want. Okay, when this person sets their vision or their sight on something, very rarely do they veer off that, okay? They go after what they want. This is someone who goes after what they want. So we'll see how the energies of the hawk marries in with the rest of the cards. You've got the star card here, the seven of cups, the two of cups, the ace of cups, the fool, the hierophant. So with the Ace of Cups and the Fool, I strongly do feel that uh, there is someone new coming into your life, Aries. Okay. And for others of you, you're wanting to begin dating again. Okay. You may be taking a chance in love in March. The Fool seeks excitement and adventure as well. I am seeing the two of cups here in your spread Aries, so you could very well be meeting your soulmate in March. For others of you already in a connection, I feel that the the connection is uh, strengthening due to someone doing the work on themselves with the ace of cups. When you've got two people in a relationship doing the work on themselves, then guess what? The connection improves. I do feel here in uh, March, you've got someone that you can really rely on. There's more romance coming through as well. For you, I do feel with the Seven of Cups, you are surrounded by a lot of potential suitors so i do feel like uh, for you single arians out there you can expect to have your pick of the crop 
literally have your pick of the crop and someone in there is going to be your best match. Okay. For others of you with the Hierophant card, you may already be married to this person. This may be your husband or your wife. Okay. You may be thinking of marriage here with the Hierophant card. There could even be talks of commitment. There could even be talks of um, what you both value, what you both believe in. There could be a clash of belief systems because the Seven of Cups can represent confusion, you know, feeling confused. Which cup do I go for? Um, yeah, so there could be a cloud of confusion coming in. I mean, it feels great with the full. It feels right. It feels great. You're following your heart. Okay, or someone here is following their heart, but there is confusion here. You've got the star card as well. Uh, the star represents hopes, dreams and wishes. For some of you, you are someone's hope, dream and wish. They may feel that you're too good to be true for them. But see in this star card, I can't pick it up because of my nails. Um, this woman is holding onto a string that is uh, tied around this star. So someone's holding on to a hope here. Okay. Someone is hoping that with the Hierophant, this ends up in marriage. Okay. No, I can't, the Seven of Cups is really confusing here. Um, I'm feeling actually confused by it. Someone is hoping for a committed outcome here. But someone's feeling very confused. I don't feel like it's your person um, because the hawk knows what it wants. I feel like maybe Aries, you don't know what you want or maybe you don't know what to expect. Okay, you may feel excited. You may be in the moment with your person, but you don't know what to expect with the Seven of Cups. Okay, it's not knowing what's going to happen. But I do see a beautiful coming together. I do see a connection here of, of like-minded people coming together. Um, I do feel that there is a lot of love coming in. For those of you who are coupled up, I do see a new chapter here in an already existing relationship. Okay, you're entering a new stage of the relationship and I feel it's positive. It could even be marriage, okay? There could even be talks of marriage here. For some of you, there may even be an elopement here. Okay, running away and eloping, tying the knot. Okay, tying the knot. For others of you, I feel like you're going to be meeting someone new in March that can really take you to great heights. And the reason why I say that is because I see this ladder in the Hierophant card. And the Hierophant can speak to a mentor, a teacher. So this person can take you to great heights. You can learn a lot from 
this person. I do feel like for some of you, it's not going to speak to all of you, but the hawk, this is a high flyer. This is someone high up. And maybe that's why there's this confusion coming through because you may feel like this person's too good for you. But you're willing to take a risk. You're willing to take a chance anyway. I do see a positive outcome here in love in March. I really do. If you're feeling confused, Aries, at all, um, try not to keep it to yourself, okay? I feel like it would be really beneficial for you to open your heart up to this person and let them in, let them in, fill them in with what's going on with you because I do feel like the person that you're dealing with is able to handle it. They're capable of handling whatever it is that is going on with you, okay? And they may even give you um, a difference of perspective. This person that you're dealing with in love can even help you gain clarity where you feel confused, if you're unsure if you have doubt, okay, even if you have questions, you can expect this person to help you gain clarity, right? This person is willing to give you the answers to any of your questions or any of your concerns that you may have, right? I feel like the person that you're dealing with is also a great communicator. So don't, don't hesitate to open up emotionally and tell this person what you're feeling in the month of March because you will be surprised. You'll, you'll be pleasantly surprised. And this person may even help you to open your heart up even more so. Okay, or your heart may open up to this person even more so because when you're coming from a heart space, that's what helps you to connect emotionally to your person. And this could be the growth that you experience in March in love. So there we have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading and until next time, take care.